Hey, what's going on? It's Delvin Bro here. Um, born and raised in New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, I'm just here today just to talk, you know, tell y'all a little bit about my story. You know, I had it uh, rough growing up in my childhood area. I wanted to commit suicide at nine years old. I was going through depression um, and I didn't know where to turn. Luckily, you know, I didn't. God, you know, saved me and he blessed me with an opportunity to keep going. Um, then my senior year in high school, I ended up breaking my C4, C5, C6 vertebrae uh, in high school on a kickoff. It's something that I, I never want nobody to go through just because of the, the trauma and the experience I have endured. Um, it, it has definitely made me a strong human being, but it's something as, a, as an athlete, I wouldn't want no athlete to go through. Never played a down in college, um, and, and I tried to commit suicide again, and it was tough during that time in my life just because football is something I always wanted to do, and I had a passion for it. And, being able to not do something you love, you know, it definitely take a toll on you. So being able to not have football during my college days, you know, it definitely took a toll on. I was, went back to my depression stage and mental, uh, 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 mental anxiety stage again, you know, where I was just depressing dark uh, spaces and everything. And, um, you know, I tried to commit suicide again of ODing uh, in 2009 and then 2010, I tried to hang myself. So, you know, it's just a lot of trauma that I've endured and being able to be in my shoes is, is definitely, um, you know, it's, it's tough. I'm thankful again that God didn't brought me out to see the light. A lot of people will look at, at, at my injury and use it as an excuse to not uh, continue to keep going, but I, I used it as motivation and inspiration. Um, and I just kept going, right, until I got cleared in 2011, 2012, finally played with the GDFL, Louisiana Bayou Vipers. You know, I want to say shout out to them for giving me that opportunity. I uh, became an all-star there. Um, then I ended up getting picked up by the Arena Football League with the New Orleans Voodoo. Uh, shout out to uh, Hamilton Tiger Cats in the CFL, became an all-star out there, um, became family, that's my second home out there, so I just want to thank Hamilton. Ended up getting picked up by the New Orleans Saints, my hometown team. You know, a lot of people uh, dream of playing for their hometown team, and I finally got to, you know, just live my dream, and I always thought about it. I'm going to tell you all one thing that kept me motivated, was every time I passed the Superdome, I always pointed at the Superdome and said, I'm going to be in there. Seven years, I always pointed at the Superdome like, I'm gonna be in there, and I made it. So that's something that I never really told nobody, but I wanted to share that because it's just motivation. I always looked at it as, as motivation for me. I was gonna get in there uh, despite all the odds. I persevered through a lot. Um, I have a beautiful son um, that was born uh, in 2017 named DJ, um, and, and, and he's awesome too. Um, my story is definitely something unique um, from a guy, you know, going through that childhood trauma uh, of, of trying to commit suicide, to not playing, well, to breaking his neck in high school, you know, supposed to be dead on the field, to not playing a, a, a single down in college, you know, uh, trying to commit suicide again in college, you know, making it all the way to playing every level. I've never met a person, I don't think nobody's ever in NFL history has ever played, or at least came into the league with a broken neck uh, like mine and, 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 and balled out and was successful as mine. So I think that's something to be proud of. I'm definitely proud of that. And I have more to, more to go. Um, I just want to say thank y'all. Bro Show, out.